What's going on guys? Another day, another tattoo vlog. I'm gonna pass it off to Tango and he'll let us know what we're doing today. Today is gonna be super exciting because uh, I'm gonna show Alex how to use a uh, real life reference, take a picture of it, and then we're gonna recreate that picture and turn it into a tattoo stencil. Then I'll draw in the background and everything too. There's a few uh, masks that we have hanging on the wall. So we're gonna take pictures of it. I'm gonna show you and Alex how to convert it to a tattoo uh, stencil. All right, let me show you guys. So we got this mask on the wall. We got a Hanya mask. Okay. Right here, and then, here, I don't even know, I forgot the name of this mask too. It's, these are a- uh, Is that Huh? N-O-H. N-O-O-H. For the Hanya mask, I kind of like it at like uh, this angle right here. I like that. From here to about here. But I like it about this angle right here. And now I'm going to show Alex how to convert it to a drawing. So this is the, the picture that I uh, took earlier. And I'm going to convert this mask into a drawing. So if you're wondering what program I use, I use a Adobe Fresca. Is it Fresca? Fresca. Alright, All right, let's go. First, you're starting off with the outline. Yeah, the, the outside portion. The outside. Basically, when you're tracing it, you can start anywhere. But right now, I'm just gonna start from the bottom and work myself up. But sometimes, like say, it's easier to start in the mouth, the eyes, and nose, and then work yourself out too because you're building the face. Mm. But right now, I'm just gonna start from the bottom. Basically when the first layer you want to just draw what you see. I'm kind of making little changes to it because this is made out of, what is this, uh, ceramic. Oh, so okay. you know the way that the teeth are touching each other and all that stuff. So Making some small changes to it. So this is how it looks like. I'm gonna lower this opacity and start adding my twist and style to it. So first layer done, lower the opacity, create another layer, add things that you want to add in. I'm gonna make some changes. I feel like this teeth is a little bit too thick, so you can lower it down now. Check out this part. So, if you look at the mask, always understand that like your face is still like an oval, and that you're you still have a middle line. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with the mask. This is this is the middle. You know what I mean? It goes to the middle, and then this is the middle. This is the middle, and it goes down to here. This is right. Mm. See that? Every time you draw anything, you have to understand that. I drew this, and what happened? It's not in the middle. It's not in the middle. Okay. And that's how I correct myself right away after drawing it. Sometimes, well, if I'm drawing it, I don't do this because I'm used to it. But like, if you're new, or like, you, you know, what's half of that? Mm -hmm. So this is wrong. This area. So what I do is erase this whole thing again. This whole structure right here. see it looks better finding the middle I see so that's like one of the things how you correct yourself 
that one is really noticeable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some a little bit off, it's fine. Remember, it goes same with the teeth too later. You get it? The middle with the middle. So, not, so a lot of the masks where the under the nose you see the, like the lines. This one is more simple, so you don't see it. But I just noticed like a lot of masks has this. It's just those lines that cut. Because you adding this in when you shade it, it gives it more detail. start learning these lines because I'm gonna be I do it and then when you shade it you kind of like understand how I shade with these lines and it's kind of like guidelines done with my second layer check this out look pretty cool huh? from just a mask on the wall and recreating it this is ready to go one thing's crazy about this is you gotten this far right if you lower the opacity and make more changes that's how you start seeing these masses get some crazy ass detail because now that you know you change it up to this I can change it one more time and make it even look crazy. Once you get the structure or something, you can just recreate on top of it. You make it look easier than how it is, but... <laughs> <laughs> at first, it's kind of hard, but you know, at <clears throat> first you should be copying everything the same. Then the trick is lower the opacity and draw on top. Mm. Just to keep that structure and then add detail. And sometimes when you add, go too crazy and it doesn't even look right no more, you have the original one to base off again. Mm, so it's true. like, if you mess up, you have the original one. Maybe since we already made this, let's do, let's turn this into the half sleeve. Okay. So this mask, I'm gonna add background, which usually I do waves, clouds, water, and, and then uh, flowers. So I'm just gonna pick a random flower that I've drawn to speed this up and I'll show you. I'm trying to figure out if I should have the mask facing forward like this, straight up. Mm. But it's kind of like, too straight. Too straight. One thing about art is you want a little bit a bend to it so you can work the flow with it. I'm feeling a little bit like relaxed a little bit, right? A little mm -hmm. set back. So I have my placement there. So uh, we just added peonies. You see how it's upper shoulder? Lower the opacity a little bit. I'm gonna race it out. I like it where it is. behind it and I feel like one more would be pretty awesome. Where would you think I would add it? Underneath. Yeah. You don't want it to be too over but you want it to overlap. You know what I'm saying? Before you start erasing the mask, mm -hmm. what you do? You duplicate the layer mm -hmm. and then you just put it away. So now I can erase the mask out. Okay so this one the flower is going over it. Yep. The other one was going under it. Under. Now, I'm gonna draw in the background. So create another layer. Well, up here, there's not much room, but I can add negatives to, you know, the mm -hmm. negative lines that flow through. So if I'm picking from here, I'll pick a negative that goes like that. <clears throat> and I'll follow it with another one right over.
And I left myself a gap right here. You know why? From back here, I'm gonna pull another weight negative. And that will be pretty much, if you see why this flower is half right here, because it's gonna wrap to the back side of the tricep. This weight's gonna wrap to the forward, to the front side of the tricep. You know what we can do instead of uh, this cloud right here? Let's put another weight crashing right through it. simple right for the background it doesn't have to be too complex you just gotta work in front all right so now I'm pretty happy with the background so what I'm gonna do is lower the opacity of the background create another layer now I'm gonna finalize the whole piece and show you all the negative stuff okay <laughs> Should I choose? <laughs> Is there a wrong side for this? No, this one I might have to just do like. Oh yeah, this one is. If you did you do shade dark to light, then this would be your lightest spot, and your lightest spot should be the one you fade out. That is how it looks, and then once you add in your reference, oh boom! Look at that. Now that you drew it out, the day that your client come it's just it's just drawn out but you can still twist it look at this now that's like this look you can twist it like like that mm -hmm. you can twist it a little bit back like that because if you want this this flower to be more in twist it like that you know what I mean it's, it still gives you a lot of room so that's one layer and now I saved that already and let's just erase it out this just makes it like easier to picture. Yeah, for you, uh, if you want to post it up for grabs or anything, just race the side. Is uh, this one going to be up for grabs? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys are following the Instagram, Tango's Instagram. This might be up for grabs. I'll probably put it up for grabs just for fun. Look at that. Yep. Sick, right? And that's how I, you know, I mean, from start to finish right there today, you saw how I took a reference on the wall, took a picture of it. Mm -hmm and then slowly convert it to a drawing and then add in your background and your your fillers. Oh yeah. It's ready to go, bro. Ready to it's go. Ready to go. But then I created two layers, so if I close this off, I still got the original one. Okay, I was about to ask about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because if you only have the other one and you go to print it, yeah, it's then gonna it's be all gone. Right? So okay. you always want to duplicate. The, if I had another mask, this Hanya mask can be on top mm -hmm. and put the wolf mask at the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. How about next video? We'll combine it. We'll combine it to a full sleeve, huh? All right, what do you guys. Think about that. Next video will be a full sleeve video. But in order for this to happen, I want you guys to like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. My uh, Instagram is uh, invested underscore tango. Check out my work. I have a lot of photos of reference and stuff that I do. <laughs> All of that will be linked down <laughs> below in the description. We'll see you guys very soon for the next video. We're out. Peace.